Hi, my name is Joe Miller, and having become the Prof's first in-house admissions consultant a little over three years ago, I've helped more than 100 students secure offers to the best universities in the UK. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through my five quick tips for Imperial's Masters in Mathematics and Finance course. The main reason for this video is to clear up some misconceptions between this and the more popular Masters in Finance business school course at Imperial. So my first tip is you need to be aware who is teaching this course. This course is taught on Imperial South Kensington campus as part of the mathematics department. As such, it is theoretical, it is conceptual and it is academic before it is career driven. To be clear, this is not a course taught by the business school, even though there is some overlap in the elective content between this course and the finance business school masters. Please be very well aware of that because that therefore changes quite a lot of the application requirements and the application procedures in this programme. Before we get into those procedures, my second tip is make sure you understand the minimum entry requirements on this program. Not only do you need at least a 2-1, ideally a first class UK degree or equivalent, but that degree needs to be in a highly quantitative subject, including maths, physics or statistics. If you're coming from an overseas university, you absolutely should email the admissions team or the Department of Mathematics at Imperial first to check that you have done the correct undergraduate mod modules to meet the prerequisites for this course. I have seen candidates in the past who have come to us and been automatically rejected and that's because they didn't meet those prerequisites. If you don't meet those, you should really be looking at some of the more business school courses at Imperial, like finance, because they're more suited towards you. My third tip is understand how this procedure and application process differs to that of the business school at Imperial. It's really important and it will ultimately change the amount of work and the type of work that you do to complete your application. If you're currently thinking of applying or in the application process, you're likely to be aware that this course, Mathematics and Finance, requires you to write a one to two page personal statement like you typically would at another university. This is different to the business school finance course at Imperial, which requires you to answer a series of career planning and personal statement questions through their portal. Moreover, when you're applying to academic courses at Imperial, in other words, non-business school courses, you are allowed to submit up to two applications. You can either submit one document that contains both personal statements on it and you can write them both separately and put them there. Make sure they don't contradict one another because the same admissions people will, will, will read both. Or you can submit one application. Should you be unsuccessful, you can then email your second personal statement to the admissions team at Imperial. Note, this differs to the business school where you are only allowed to submit one application each, each cycle, each year. But if that application is unsuccessful, you will automatically be considered for the other courses within that specialization at Imperial. There are three specializations, finance, management, and other specialized masters. Please bear that in mind before submitting your application because it of course dictates where you can apply and how many applications you can submit. That brings me on to my fourth tip, which is if you're applying to this program, you are writing a one to two page personal statement and therefore you need to make sure that that personal statement is tailored toward, towards this course. As with my other videos, you need to make sure that this personal statement creates a unique identity one that is rooted in the course in mathematics and quantitative finance, and one that is ideally substantiated with what you've done in the past. 
Because this application is reviewed by the Department of Mathematics, they, are, they care far more about your undergraduate modules in finance, the research, the theories, the concepts that you've either conducted or learnt, as opposed to your work experience. Of course, if you have internship experience in finance, show them it on your CV, write about it in your personal statement, but talk about it from a more academic standpoint. Talk about the models you built, the theories that underpinned the type of work that you did on these in internships, as opposed to um, the, the vocational aspects of this work. My fifth and final tip is manage your references. Perhaps the number one reason people end up submitting late applications to universities like Imperial is because they were not on top of their refer referees early. Start building those re re relationships with your referees now. Start talking to them about your master's plans now. And make sure you provide them with enough information that they can write everything you need them to say in that reference. Imperial for this course require you to submit two referen references and at least one of them must be academic. Ideally, they should both be academic. And if you want an additional professional referee, upload it as additional documentation or email it to them. It's really important that if there are any weaknesses on your application, if there are any areas where, where you need to explain why you didn't perhaps get a great grade, why, why you perhaps um, underperformed in something, instead of putting that in an email to Imperial or instead of putting that in your personal statement, that needs to go in a reference. For all of my candidates, I've created a template where we use this long email as an opportunity to, to contact the reference referees and make them aware of what we expect them to say in those references. It's really important not only to guide them, but to also make sure you're making the most of these opportunities in your application. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you have and want to see any more of our content, please do like and subscribe. If you or anyone you know are interested in applying for master's programs at Imperial or elsewhere, please do not hesitate to get in contact with us. Good luck.